What's up everybody, welcome back to Minish Cap. In the last episode we learned how to speak. Uh, we found the Minish, aka the Kari, and we learned how to speak their language. So basically now um, we can actually talk to people, so we're going to go to see the mayor. Uh, and the monk guy. No. That actual person who can actually speak our language will go talk to him first. So you've eaten the jabber nut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the elder can help you. See? Told you we'd have to see him last episode. Anyways, uh, let's go wrong. Yeah, very creative song. Weird guy, I automatically have to walk, step back to the edge of the map. Yeah, it has. I mean, you don't exactly even, like, make it obvious where to find it. So. Uh, shut up, Elzo. Seriously, nobody likes Elzo. Oh, yeah. Forgot about Zelda almost. <laughs> Yeah, the Picari Blade is um, basically the equivalent of the Master Sword in uh, every other game. So we need um, the four special elements. And by infusing the blades of this energy, is, we, you can make a new one. So basically it is fire, water, earth and wind. And the earth element can be found in the shrine to the knob of Festari Abbey. And Festari will show you. Yeah, uh, it's not like uh, evil hasn't made its like, um, home like everywhere in this world now. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Anyways, uh, you probably could already guess it. Now let me free you, stupid monk! Yeah, we kind of got that. The the mayor person kind of told us that already. So can you stop telling us? Anyway, Minish Woods, um, come through here and look what you found. Look, you can't use that yet, though. So anyway, uh, uh, we are at the Deep Book Shrine. Yes, Elza, thank you for telling me. It was that that I already said. Shut up, Elza. Nobody likes you. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know we just climb out the window and ditch him. And basically he's dead to those stupid monsters again. Yeah, anyways, we can't do anything with those spider webs yet, but we will be able to like it. By the way, same button as you click the roll. Um our button is also um pushing this well, push us off to the side. Kill these stupid slugs. Ooh, rupee. Yeah, come on. This is yeah. Yes, that'll probably be smart. Oop, one of the lights up. It's just gone on. Is that me? But that probably means that we um that no we can't. Uh, I always think when like only like one of them works, you're missing something. Oh right. I'm a real idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm really not thinking today. Anyways, inside this chest we get a small key. I never would have guessed. You can only be using this dungeon. So you can't use it to like sneak into play banks and rob them unfortunately. Yeah, that would be so awesome. You just took it outside the dungeon and just use it to roll a bank. Anyways, then we can't get across there yet, but we will be able to later. And let's pull the lever. And what does it do? It gives us a bridge and I really fail. Anyway, same thing, press R, pull back as far as you can, and then when you let go, um, press, um, oh, yeah, press, um, 
left or the direction you want to fly in to get an extra little boost. Um, I think you need it to be honest. Yeah, so, um, here we are. Hey, um, you can get... This hay can be really annoying, but we can get rid of it. It'll... Yeah, especially since in the how these things keep spawning more. Especially since the hay can be hiding, like, special items. We can't get them yet. No dirt. Small, you fool. And we're making that thing unstable. Anyways, and uh, now we can roll around in it. Wait, no, not yet. Later on, we'll be able to roll around in that thing, but for now... And by later on, guess what I mean? Anyways, uh... Dang! Dang! And by later on, I meant, like, now. Simple puzzle pushes onto here. And it, um, there are a couple of, um, exits with the col- the, I must say cauliflowers in the way. It was cauliflowers, it was Zelda. Oh yeah, you can push this one way. But anyway, now you can, um, kind of like, move it around, and there are... But, um, Unless there's probably something I'm missing. Cause I I remember like a couple of stuff but not not that much to be honest. I don't remember too much about this stuff. Um anyway. So yeah, run Oh wait no. Wrong one. Uh And unfortunately, we can't do anything to that. Um, something I'm missing. I know there is something simple I'm missing. Oh, it was right there. There. Unless we can't get to that. We can get some can because... Even I'm not that stupid. Or is that hope so, anyway? You'll see. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, we have a dungeon map. More useless maps. Except not really useless, but shut up. Anyway, uh, I don't think you can budge these out of the way, which makes me sad. Let's see what happens if you go to the middle platform. Oh, you don't need you to but. You can move that out of the way there. And now go through here. Kill these. Yay for more slaughtering random defenseless creatures. I love Nintendo logic. Um, maybe this, you idiot. Ah! Keep clicking the wrong. The roll button. Anyway, now you can go across this little bridge type thing and shut up. Just because, like, I think the puzzles are, like, a little simplistic, but pretty 
fun puzzles. Not gonna lie. Anyway, you can smash that pot for a rupee. I think it probably infinitely respawns because otherwise you'd be screwed about it. But anyways, enough about that. Moving on. Back through here because now we have a key. Key. Um, yeah. Come on. Through. Wait, no, wrong. Sprinting through. Uh, no, 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 I missed something. And I'm an idiot. But you guys already knew that. Oh no, god, I'm getting up close to the time limit. Um, uh, next time, guys, um, we'll continue through here.